Hey guys, Derek here. So this is my A20 from GTEC. Uh, you've seen me do the unboxing, the build video, uh, make a start on the first print, and obviously um, this is my follow-up to that now. So I've had it for about a month now. I have been playing with it. Um, I mean, at this moment, it, I mean, it's 250 by 250 by 250 size. Marlin 1.1.8. Um, obviously, it's got a, a filament run out sensor, um, and it's it's 255 pounds on Amazon. At this moment in time, I'm just checking, which to be the 13th of August 2021. Um, I've got my computer just here, so I'm just having a quick look. It is um, currently going for £155. Um, there is a, you can apply a £100 voucher at checkout as a discount, and you get it for £155 from Amazon. Um, currently, they've got plenty in stock, and you can get it, obviously, the next day if you're a Prime member. Um, okay, so had it for about a month it's been doing okay I ain't got no issues with it as such I mean I've done a done a nice vase V's whichever way you want to pronounce it that's a quite a nice one there's no it's all the way up to the top obviously and the bottom is absolutely perfect so here's the um, the area dragon that I normally print I did notice there was a little bit of Z-wobble on this. Um, whether or not you can see it. I'll cover my face. But it's still got all the detail in there, apart from a little bit of the um, Z-wobble. The Benji. Uh, this is all stock standard this is how it all came out all i've done is use simplify 3d uh, standard settings and sliced put them onto the memory card and just print so the benji came out quite well there is uh, a little bit of blobbing on the side and once again the in inconsistency of the um z of the layers, layer lines. Uh, the print I started when I was, after I built it, was the cat. Obviously I've stopped it before the end of the, before the night because I didn't really want it to go throughout the night, but all the detail is there. Um, hide my face. You do have all the detail there. It has actually come up really well. I've got no problems with that. The tree frog. I always print these. It's a nice little print. It also does checks your first layer. It's also it's got one, two, three sort of different right starting points that obviously meet up as well so that all tests it as well make sure it's all coming up once again it was at z i don't know if you can see that on there you might be able to there but there's a slight z line wobble there as well uh, the marvin marvin came out okay Nice little Marvin that. Obviously too small to find out any Z wobble or anything on there. Not too sure if there is a Z wobble. I mean it goes up and down fine. I've tested it. This is all nice and smooth. That goes across nice and smooth. It ain't connected up. This is all nice and smooth as well. Uh, the cube. I'll show you the cube. And obviously you've got the X, Y and Z. It does measure pretty ac accurately. It is roughly 
20 mil all round, which is great, apart from the odd point one or so. But like I said, it's a matter of tuning it in and getting a decent print out of it. Um, that's another Marvin. So, this was the fan that was on it. It was mostly just glued on. It was just a front blower fan, as you can see. So that would go there and it would just blow towards the printer. It would blow towards. Now I've been playing around trying to design a different fan that will uh, blow all around the part that you're printing. Uh, I come up with I found like this on the Thingiverse. It just didn't really work properly or well. I then adjusted it and printed it in resin, clear resin, to see whether or not I can see any issues, but it just wasn't printing really well. And then I've done an, an, a third sort of design with this a little bit longer, and that weren't even hitting it. But um, if, I mean, uh, for the price, as in for the 155 amazing um, it's end of three money ish a bit cheaper if anything for a, a slightly bigger X and Y the Z 250 I mean I think the end is 260 250 um, but yeah, I mean, apart from noisy stepper drivers, now I took a look at the board and you can, there are removable stepper drivers, so it's a matter of just putting the new uh, drivers in. I've got 2209 somewhere uh, that I haven't even put in anywhere. Um, I could put them into this board, but then I'm going to need to flash the firmware. Now, I had issues with flashing the firmware to 2.0, Marlin 2.0. The problem I was having is when you would home it, the Z, uh, the uh, X, say for instance it was over here, yeah, and the bed was here or whatever, it doesn't matter where the bed is, but this would move that, and then it would, then the bed, and then this Z will go down, so it would think that that is end stop. And I'm, I've checked the switch, the switch is absolutely fine, it's in there, I've checked it, tested it, and I'm still running it issues after 2.0. So it's back to 1.1.8, which it works. Uh, no, you know, it's, it's mainly 1.1.8. It works. Um, but I'd like to flash it to the latest Marlin firmware. If anyone's got a link out there with uh, an up-to-date Marlin firmware for the A20, I would like to test out. Obviously I want to change my stepper drivers as well, so I'm going to need to change the firmware. Other than that, um, we are, it's a pretty good printer. Sorry, the knock has <laughs> thrown me. Um, but other than that, it is, I mean, apart from if someone's got a decent fan design for it, that would be great. I haven't put an ABL on there, even though it's a matter of just plugging it in there, switching it on the firmware, done. You've got an ABL. Obviously, I'd take off the Z here, and then obviously you can carry on going. I was given a, well, I had to buy it, uh, the flex plate for it. Now, this is not a standard metal flex plate this is like a like a flimsy one I don't know what you call it but it's it's not the metal one um, it's got the texture on there obviously and it has been working fine you know it goes on and you just crack on I mean I leveled the bed once um, started the print obviously on the uh, second part to this and started that off and that's that started coming off okay 
Um, I also uh, then took the sheet off, put this on, and started a few more prints. But I have been playing with it, I have been testing it. Um, like I said, if anyone can find a decent uh, 2.0 firmware for it or above, that would be great. Um, other than that, I'm finding it difficult for it to work with 2.0 or 1.1.8 above. So if someone can possibly find out some information and post it in the link, uh, post me a link below, I would like to test it and then I can do an update video on this. Um, would I recommend it? For the price, yes. It's noisy. Um, I mean, when you first get your first printer and they ha have, <laughs> they never heard of silent stepper drivers, you know what it was like. Um, it was a little bit noisy. Uh, they're not 208s. They're, they're not 2208s. They're not 2209s in here. They're just standard. It could be the A drivers, A49, whatever they are. They could be them. I do not know, but they're noisy. They're not silent. That's the only con I've got against it at the moment. Um, it's fairly self-contained. Everything's in here. You've got the power supply switch at the back. The power supply switch at the back, obviously you can change from 210 to 220, uh, which is fairly nice because it doesn't matter where they ship it all over the world, you can change it to suit. Other than that, what can I say? Uh, for the price and a first printer, yeah, for 155 it's a no-brainer, an A20. You might be able to get it cheaper as well if you look around on Facebook. Uh, some people on there might give you a better discount. Just look. But other than that, so far, yeah, it's uh, you can get it for 155. Next day delivery on Amazon Prime, which all works. Uh, which obviously I, I got it from Amazon Prime. I need to obviously say now um, I brought this with my own money. This is my own review. I can say what I want about the printer. Um, I don't have to oblige by anything. I brought it myself. I, I'm going to be straight honest about it. Like I said. If I had this and then the three, I'd pick this due to the build size. And obviously it looks a bit neater than the Ender 3. Um, if I had a pick between this and another printer which had silent stepper drivers, I'd go for that one. It's only the stepper drivers that I'm not too happy with but they, they're an easy swap out change your firmware and get a decent fan design around the front for the part calling I'm sure we can get some decent printouts on this um, I'm just trying to find a decent firmware so I can use it on it um, to upload the firmware is exactly the same as any you don't have to flash or anything you don't have to uh, um, burn a bootloader onto this you just flash it it's absolutely fine it works you just plug it straight in the side to your computer and away you go um, yeah I mean I've, I've printed it all out on the uh, white filament I didn't bother trying any other colours thought I'd see what it's like standard white because it shows up all the imperfections that you would get I'm waffling on now I'm going to stop the video. Um, my score, if I was doing a score out of 10, would be a 7 out of 10. Sort out the stepper drivers, sort out the fans, the firmware, and it would be a very close 9, 10. I mean, there is nothing else wrong with it. But that's my own review on this, as promised. Um, on the GTK 10, uh, A10, it's an A20. Yeah, it is an A20. 
Um, I did have an A10 and that was fantastic from them. That was noisy as well. Uh, but this, I've got an A20M uh, which has uh, a two into one dual filament that it will take. That at, at this current in time is in my loft because I don't have the space down here for it. Um, even though that this is my own room now. But anyway, like I said, waffling on. Uh, I, I'm not too sure when the next video will come out. It's whether or not I, I get anything coming through the post. Um, I should be getting uh, a couple of boards from um, Big Tree Tech. Either I won on their, one of their giveaways. And obviously some filament as well that I won from... Uh, artillery on their live on their live streams so I've got a little few bits and pieces coming in I will try and get uh, another video out soon um, I'm just trying to think of what else I can do did you want me to go over uh, my Elegoo Saturn now that I've had it for quite some time and I know all the good points bad points if you want I can do one of those as I only done a quick unboxing of it. Uh, I've got the Anycubic washing cure station if you want me to do a review on that let me know. Um, I've been programming some LED lights that you can see obviously going off in the background. Um, if you want me to do a little video on that I can do. Just let me know in the back in the comments what you want me to do or if if there's anything you want me to look at I will try and do that for you. Rather me make the mistakes in the and I'm giving you an honest opinion about this. It's not like it was given to me. Um, anyway, here we go. So, um, GTK A20. Yeah, does a job. I mean, I can't really rave too much about it. Good build size, noisy stepper drivers, and the park calling fan needs sorting out. Yeah, so that's my honest review. Um, once again, don't forget if you like this video, please hit the like, smash that like button. If you don't, give me a thumbs down, let me know what's going on. Um, if you want to leave a comment, please do. And be yourself. Alright, see you later. Bye.